So we've made some pretty decent headway in terms of developing some content here for the page, formatting that with headings, and using some internal linking. So the question is, what's next? What else can I do to further optimize my pages? So let's look at the page inspector. I'm going to go to the um, page info button here on the right and pull this over so we can look at this. Um, on the general settings tab, we have the page title, browser title, folder, and file name, and all of these are important. Um, especially the browser title and the file name. Now your home page by default will be index.html which needs to remain the same but if we switch to a page such as website design you can see the Rapid Weaver automatically puts in some page um, some file name and folder names by default and um, you definitely want to change these out. So what I'm going to do for my website design page so I'm just going to simply give it a slash for a folder name enter that and then I'm going to take the page one out of the file name and give it a descriptive file name. And this could be something like website design with an underscore in between. Make sure you do this all lowercase with no spaces. So I'm going to use an underscore to break up my words. Or if you wanted to be even more specific, you could do website design and then your city, like Dallas. And doing that will um, not only make it look more professional in the... Um, in the address bar of your browser but there is um, some argument as to whether or not this impacts SEO and um, if there's any chance that it does it's well worth going ahead and doing that because you're going to be customizing this file name anyway so that is um, important to do on every other page of, of your website with the exception of home because like I said it does need to remain index for the file name also on this um, page inspector general tab we see a browser title and this is quite important typically what you may see is something like um, well for instance with Rapid Weaver Classroom you may see just Rapid Weaver Classroom and then maybe it have the name of the page such as home and that's great and it looks nice but it doesn't ultimately do a whole lot for you um, in terms of SEO and so what you would do here and I'll take this away and do um, something descriptive for this specific um, website we're doing here so I do um, something similar to my headline actually maybe Dallas Fort Worth web design and search engine marketing that's a descriptive browser title and you will see if we go back to um, Safari here to the, the uh, uh, to the Red Spot Design website, that the browser title is something very similar to that. Dallas Web Design, Dallas Web Designer, Website Design Companies in Fort Worth. They um, they repeat Web Design obviously a few times here, but the idea is that they're using keywords in their browser title, and um, many times the Google search results will display the browser title underneath the link. So let's go back and do a search um, where we came from. Let me just drop back to our search and sometimes here in this section below the link you will find your browser title not always in this case you don't we actually get some of the main text content but um, it is uh, a regular occurrence where Google will pull your browser title to display below so f just for the sake of um, for people searching for your website if they are to read the short description underneath the result then um, having something descriptive in the browser title here is important. So make sure you do that on each page. Once again, it needs to be specific to that page. So the browser title for the home page can be very general, like the content where um, it mentions um, most of the major offerings that your website has. But then something like the SEO page, you would want to do specific um, browser titles, search engine optimization, and then maybe. Um, some words that are more niche, such as your location. So I could do in Dallas and Fort Worth. Something like that. Um, ultimately, the browser titles, like the content, should be specific to the page, to the topic of that page. So um, do that. Go through. Set your folders. Um, this could also be something like services. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter as well, as long as it's well organized. And once again, a descriptive file name. And that takes care of um, everything in the general settings here. 
in the page inspector that you would want to mess around with. Um, we will get into another section of the page inspector, but um, that will um, come in the next tutorial, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up.